Hi, I'm Matt with Pinecar.com and welcome back to our four-part series on Design for Speed. Now today in part three, we're going to be reducing the friction on our wheels, but if you haven't seen part one or part two, definitely take the time to go back and check out those videos. We gave you some great pointers on picking out body styles and weights. Part two, we reduced all the friction on our axles and gained quite a bit of speed. And then at the end of each one of those videos, we went ahead and ran the car so you can keep track of the, uh, the increments of speed that we're picking up by applying these steps, and we'll do the same thing today. Now, we're going to turn our focus on uh, reducing the friction on these wheels, and we're going to get our little help from our Pine Car Micro Polishing System along with the Diamond Finishing Kit provided by Pine Car. We use these kits in our prior video on our axles. We have a lot of leftover products that's going to really help us get this job done properly. Another tool you're going to need is our Pine Car uh, Wheel Turning Mandrel. Now, this mandrel is simply they're going to help you keep the wheel in place as you apply these tips, okay? If you don't have one of these mandrels, uh, you'll probably get a lot of flat spots in your wheels, probably pick up a lot of wobble as the car goes down the track, and again, it's going to cost you time at the end, so it's important to pick one of these up. The process is simple. We're going to be using a household drill clamped to your vise. We're going to be going through a medium grade sandpaper and working our way up to a finer grade uh, sandpaper. You just simply want to remove all the imperfections on the wheel. We'll start with the outside of the wheel or the actual tread of the wheel, and then we'll turn our focus to the inside of the wheel. And the reason that's important, if your car is going down the center and using that center guide to keep it straight, you don't want friction building up in that area. So it's important to get this all smoothed out as well. It's a simple process. Start with medium, work your way up to fine, and then we'll move on to our next step. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, I like the feel of the side of that wheel. Feels real good. I ended up with a thousand grit sandpaper. I think that's probably about as smooth as I can possibly get it. Now the next step is going to be to go ahead and take this off the wheel mandrel. And be careful when you're taking this off the mandrel not to scratch the inside of the hub. And then we're going to turn our focus to the hub itself. Now the, the first step in preparing the hub is actually going to be to taper off that hub. Now what I mean by that, this, this wheel itself is going to rattle against the side of the car body and we're going to remove some of that material to reduce that contact or that friction area. Okay, I'm going to do that by grabbing the file out of the micro polishing system. I'm just going to simply take away some of that material and get a nice smoothed over tapered hub. All right, Take your time on this. Again, you don't want to be scratching up the exterior of the wheel that you just got done sanding. Just take your time and do all four of them um, and you get to get them as smooth as you possibly can. Once I'm done with the actual filing part of it and removing some of the heavier plastic, I'm going to go back over with 600 uh, up to 1,000 grit sandpaper and really get it smoothed off. We want that area to be very smooth. Now again, doing steps like this is going to pick up speed in the car, but it's not going to win any races. The combination of doing all these steps together is what wins races. So it's very important you take the time to do all the steps, um, practice a little bit, you know, experiment a little bit. But uh, doing all these in conjunction with each other, I think you're going to have a winning car. So definitely don't skip anything. All right, the next step, we're going to be grab a 400 grit sandpaper. And then from there, we'll go to a 600 grit sandpaper. And then finally complete it with a 1,000 grit sandpaper as we did with the exterior of the wheel, just so we have a nice smooth finish in that area. All right, I'm pleased with that. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. And let me show you in comparison to a stock wheel see how just a little bit of tips are going to pick up quite a bit of speed. All right, as you can see, those look pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and move forward on our final step of getting these wheels race ready, which is going to be to polish the inside of that hub. Now, we spent a lot of time on our previous video getting our axles all dialed in, so it'd be a shame to put them into a scratch tub. So we're going to take the time to smooth them all out. Now, using our diamond finishing kit, we have the diamond finishing compound, which we used on the axles. is going to work perfectly for smoothing off the inside of them hubs. Inside that kit also came with these polishing brushes that'll work perfectly in our chuck here. So chuck those up and leave about an inch of that hanging out and then uh, add on a little bit of the diamond compound. And you just want to simply smooth that in with your fingertips, kind of give it a head start. And then we'll go ahead and put the wheel on there before we start to drill. That way we don't have to worry about the end of that poking on the wheel itself and scratching it up. So go ahead and slide that on. Start to drill at the same time. All right, 
that ought to be fine right there. Again, do not overwork the inside of your hub. 15 to 20 seconds ought to do the job just fine. Keep in mind the diamond compound that we are using on the inside of our hub does have an equivalent to an 8,000 grit polishing cloth. So we are removing quite a bit of plastic as we spin it on the drill. So take your time and do not remove too much of the plastic. Now, the last step would be definitely just to get in there, wash all that grit out of your hubs, use the cloth provided with the kit, warm soapy water, finish it off with fresh water, and then test your wheels, all right? Put it on one of the axles that we've completed and see if it spins out all right. You definitely want to make sure you're getting rid of all the wobbles and everything off that wheel. I'm going to show you right here on this test block compared to some of our stock wheels and how this wheel is going to roll out. All right, in comparison here, here's one of our stock wheels. As you can see, it's got a lot of wobble, a lot of tuning to go. And then here's the wheel we just completed. And it just rolls beautiful. So that's going to equate to a ton of time on the track. And speaking of, let's go ahead and get the car put back together, take it up to the track and run it for our third time and see what type of speed we can pick up. We'll see you there. Okay, we're back up here at the Fine Car Test Track. Once again, we're going to run our car for the third time after working on the wheel. So hopefully we'll pick up quite a bit of time here. Let's see what happens. All right, that was another exceptional run with our fine car. Every step we do to this car, we're picking up a ton of speed, and I'm confident we can pick up just a little bit more in our fourth and final video called Fine Tuning.